In this question, uh, the total weight of a motorbike and a rider is 1800 Newton. Okay, la. we're going to draw the weight 1800. The motorbike travels in a straight line at constant speed. Okay, this is important information. Constant speed tells me that the net force is zero. Balance force. Up a hill at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. The useful output power of the motorbike is 36001. So power is equal to 36000. The total resistive forces due to air resistance and friction is 2400 Newton. Okay, I'm going to draw the forces now. I have the friction or the resistive force, 2400 Newton. And then I have the weight component that is acting down the inclined plane. So you see this, there are two things that is trying to drag my friend, my man here down the, down the slope. There is air resistance that's opposing its direction of motion. And then there is this weight component, remember? So if we resolve this, and if you don't know how to resolve this, go check out the lecture videos where we talk about the inclined plane. Here, the weight component will be 1800 sine 30. So there are two things that are trying to pull the motor down. There is 2400 friction. There's also the weight, which is 1800 sine 30. If I press my calculator, right, 1800 sine 30 is 900. Okay. So how does the motor still manage to move up? What are the, what sorcery? I uh, sure got engine, right? The force of the engine is driving the motor up. Okay. So this is the useful output power that uh, helps you, that is contributed thanks to the force of the engine. So on one hand, I will have power is equal to this much, but power is also equal to Fd. I can only use this equation if the velocity is constant, okay? And I know the engine force or the one that is driving the power. So who is driving the power here? Engine? Teacher, can I find the force of the engine? Can I? The force of your engine must be equal to the downward forces because why? Net force is zero. So 2400 plus 900, and this will give me 3300. So here I will put in 3300, and I'm trying to find the constant speed. I have power, 36001. So if I press my calculator, my V will happen to be 11, 10.9, I think, meter per second. So the answer is B. So to do inclined plane questions that involve power like this, you have to find out, fish out the information about number one, is the speed constant? If the speed is constant, we can use this equation. Number two, are we able to find the net force? Okay, so not net force, the other forces or the force of the engine. Because this is the engine, is the one that drives the motor forward. So it is the engine force that provides us this 3600 watt. So make sure you use net force. Don't just put 2400. Don't just put 1800 sine 30. It's actually engine fighting this two. My dude, the engine is doing a hard job here. So it's 2400 plus 900, driving the motor, motorcycle up at constant speed. So this is the work of the engine. It creates this much power and it allows the motorbike to travel at 11 meters per second. That's it for question 20.